Hello fellow YouTube addicts. Um, I'm just doing a little video on how to cut an image out of a photo. And yes, there are like tons of videos like this on YouTube already. And that's where I kind of learned a lot of my stuff on YouTube. But I guess since I'm, I've been using Photoshop now for three years, and it just boggles my mind every time I watch one of these Photoshop videos on YouTube. They start off with like, whoop, you want to cut the picture out, you gotta come over here. And then you gotta get the, uh, whatever, the lasso tool is what they call it. And there's either the polygonal lasso tool or the magnetic lasso tool. And then they'll go over here on a totally, on a picture with a total nice white background and they'll just start going like this. And then they'll keep clicking and clicking, and the video takes like 25 minutes long until they show you what they have to do to actually get it out. And then on top of that, they'll always use like the key, the <clears throat> the key, uh, the keyboard for all their controls. So you never see what they're doing over here and stuff. So I, I'm just gonna show you an easy way. Um, like you see a picture you like, and you want to get rid of the white background because, as you know, this is what happens. Let me shrink this down. Here I have a picture. Say I just want to take this picture and put it over on this picture. So basically all I do is just drag it over, stick it on there. Only problem is it's got that white background on it. So we don't want that. So I just throw that away. And then I'll come over here. And then all I do is I use the fucking magic wand. It's just it's called a magic wand because it's fucking awesome. So all you do is click on the background, it has a tolerance thing at the top. I know you can't see it with my recorder, that's because I have a crappy recorder, but the tolerance I have it set on is 40, so it hugs around the edges like really nice and everything like that. Um, let me get rid of that there. I'm going to actually reduce the tolerance because down here you got this gray area and if the tolerance is too high, then it goes up into the, to the where these pipes are, or into any area that's kind of white. So I'll lower the tolerance down to 25 and see what it does here. See right there? Now it's it went around that gray area right there. Only thing is, it, it goes around these other gray areas that are kind of like the shadow from the bike. So what I do is... And, and in this situation, you got to hold down the key. So I hold down the shift key because I have these two areas here that are closed off from the rest of this white stuff. So they're kind of boxed in. And how you get around that is you hold the shift key down, you take the magic wand, you put it in the center of it. See, now it's filled in there. You go there. You go there. And then there's a spot there and there and right there and that's about it then you have to go up to the top to your to your toolbar not this toolbar the one up top and you select inverse so now it's got all that selected there and what you do you go up to the top again you go up to edit and you can either hit cut if you hit cut it's going to take out the entire bike from that picture um, I want to save that picture for later on for something else, so I'm not going to do that. All I'm going to do is say copy. So I hit copy. I bring up my other picture that I want to put it on, which is a crappy example, I know, but I just wanted to show you guys here. And then hit paste. And then presto. It's there. It's that easy. You didn't have to go use the magic wand and go all the way around it which takes like for freaking ever and stuff to cut the, the damn thing out so I don't know why those guys even do that um, if you want to zoom in just go up to here I just want to see if there's any more white stuff left in here ooh I really blew it up let's go back down okay I see a white spot I don't like so I go over to the the magic wand again, I click there, I see a white spot here, I hold the shift key down, and I click that, and then all I do is simply go up to edit and cut. 
White stuff gone. Here's another white spot. Oh, it's going over into that. I don't really care about that. So I want to shrink this bike down. Yep, apply transformation. I wasn't really trying to show you anything else on here. I just wanted to show you what the magic wand does. Because it's a pretty nice tool to have. Oh, if you go here, you see you got that white stuff again. Once again, all you do, go, there, go to the magic wand. Click on it. I'll make the tolerance higher. I'll make it 50. There's another spot right there. Edit. Cut. Oh, see that? Gone. Another white spot. Gone. Gone again. And you just put the bike right there in your picture and you're all set. Sorry if my speech kind of sounded like it was slurring. It's because I'm smoking a cigarette at the same time I'm doing this. So, And that's basically how it's done. Um, I just thought I'd show that because no one else on YouTube seems to use the magic wand like when they're doing these Photoshop videos and it drives me freaking nuts. It's like so much faster than the lasso tool. Lasso tool. Now the only instance where the lasso tool actually comes in handy is like you have a, a str say you wanted to get this whole building out of here well since it's not a total white background you basically gotta go with the lasso tool all the way around it and you guys seen all those videos so I'm not even gonna show you how to use the lasso tool because by now I think everybody on YouTube knows what the lasso tool is so alright guys I hope you enjoyed the video Sub subscribe to my channel and uh, have a good day bye